In today's video, we're testing out six different level five body armors based on their materials. Um, so to give you guys an idea of what exactly what I'm talking about here, if you did not know, there's armor durability and effective durability. It's effective durability changes based on the materials the armor is made of and the overall durability of the armor. So different armors may be 80 out of 80, 45 out of 45, 65 out of 65, and so on. But they also have materials that they're made of. These materials affect how expensive the, rep it, the armor is to repair. It affects how well the armor repairs. It also affects how how much health is taken off the armor when certain types of bullets hit it. And it also depends changes how much damage the player will take when bullets interact with that armor in different ways. So we tested a bunch of that today. Um, we we're using BP ammo 762 by 39 BP, which is supposed to pen uh, level five armor pretty reliably. Um, so we we ran a couple tests. We tested six armors, like I said. I think we do. The, the Rita, the killer armor, the new uh, plate carrier, the a couple of the new plate carriers, the CPC. Um, we test the Kron, we test the, the Gazelle. Um, so we, te we test a few of them using BP ammo. We see how many bullets it takes to zero them. And we also check and watch, monitor how much damage it is given to our thorax each time. And you guys may be very, very shocked by the results. And it will tell you what level five armors really aren't worth using. Hope you guys enjoy. Have a great one. Yo guys, welcome to the YouTube video today. We're gonna to be testing tier five armors. Here's all the sorry, he's he's gotta kill this guy because he got a crazy amount of spawning offline. He doesn't have a lab card. So, anyways, we have all these tier fives we're gonna be testing out. The Karund, the Plate Frame GE, the Gazelle, the CPC GE, the Redut, and the Killer Armor. We're gonna be testing them against BP ammo, and we're gonna see how much damage you take through the armor, and we're also gonna see how many shots the armor can take before it's effectively zeroed. These are all basically full health, except for the killer armor is slightly damaged. The Rita is slight, slightly, slightly damaged. Plate frame is slightly damaged, and that, and the CPC over here is also slightly damaged. So we're gonna start out by testing the uh, Karun first. <clears throat> that was the stomach. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. You also hit the armor. Um, you only shot one bullet right there. Yeah. Holy shit! Oh my god, dude. The Karun is at 26 from one bullet. Okay. Yep, down to 23 this time, and the armor is at 7.7 .7 after two shots of BP. Okay, it's taking two shots. Alright, do one more. Alright, it is now zeroed, and my stomach is now at 12. Okay. Karun took three bullets before it zeroed. Now we move on to the gazelle. Okay, one shot, it's down to 43, and my chest went down to 40. Yeah. Okay, 22, it's taken two shots now. Let me heal up first. Alright, armor's at 1.1, chest is at 37. Let's heal it. Holy shit, that one hurt. Armor is zeroed, health, uh, chest went down to 30 again. I would like to also point out that even though the armor is only at 1.1 durability right here, Notice the damage reduction that it still gives to the incoming round of BP. Okay. So Giselle took four, correct? That one yeah. took four. Okay. Yep. So we're doing the plate frame G now. Okay. It took, wow, almost no damage. Uh, it damaged with, oh, I, I popped the purple so my thorax is healing a little bit. It barely did any damage though. All right, go again. Oh, what the fuck? That armor is insane. Yeah, this armor looks insane so far. Okay, that one dropped me down to 40 HP. And it took a lot of damage from that shot. Well, it took like 11 or 12. So it's taking two shots now. Let's go again. Three shots. It's down to 47 now. So after three shots, it's halfway there. So far, the plate frame looks absolutely insane at tanking shots. Go again. This is where the gazelle was now zeroed. And you would have been dead if you had a Corund on. Um, it's only at 35. Go again. 22. It's still taking more. That's five shots of BP. Holy shit. Go hell? again. I'm guessing it take two more. Six shots of BP puts it 11, and then once I heal, do it again, and this should be the zeroing shot, I guess. We good? Holy shit. Seven shots of BP the plate frame GA can take. Now we're gonna try on 
this, the CPC. Do you have heals on you? PCG. This one, this one is also combined materials. Um, it's also level five. It's, it's from the goons. I'll look up. Okay, that one took off 13 durability, and it did barely any damage to my thorax. Two shots is down to thirty. It's down to half durability already. Three shots. This armor is down to 25 durability. Just shot number shot number four. So I'm assuming by the way this one's going, it's gonna take only one more shot. Yep, it is now zeroed. So this one took five shots of BP. So this one goes right above the gazelle, but right below this other one. This, all right, now we're gonna try the Rita and then the Killa. I'm ready. ready. Yep. <laughs> okay, one one shot and it is down to 46 durability, so you go 14. Uh, hold up, I think he hit me in the stomach. Oh no, you, you did hit the armor. It just stopped it all the way, holy shit. Um, shit. It's down to 32 after two shots. Alright, you're good to go. It's down to 19. Barely took any damage from that one. So the readout looks like it's taking... It, it, it seems to be taking off an insane amount of damage. The damage reduction through when it goes through the Rita is nuts. Alright, go again. Down to six? Yo! Okay. So this one also, that was five, right? Yeah. Yeah, so the Rita, Rita also took five, but it, to be noted, it did reduce the damage on the first two to three bullets by a lot. And the last one is the Killer Armor, which is also ultra high molecular weight polyethylene, okay? Or however you fucking pronounce that. Alright, you're good? All right, it took 12 damage from that. And I barely took any thorax damage. Once again, barely took any thorax damage. Barely took any damage again. It's down to 21. That's shot number four, so it's about to be zeroed. I took damage from that one. The same as every other bullet, basically. From all the other armors. Yep, armor is now zero. It took five shots, um, and for to be noted, the first three it stopped. So it stopped the most. This and the Rita both stopped the most damage for the longest time. But the uh, let's put these all in order. Let me. All right. So through testing, uh, this is the order of the armors. Basically, the plate frame GE took the most shots by far. It took seven shots of BP, um, and it st it stopped damage for about the first three. Um, Kill armor also stopped damage for the first three. Uh, got zeroed after f five shots. So did the so did the the current or the kill armor and the current or the Rita took about the exact same. They both took five bullets. They both reduced damage for the same amount of time. Um, but you do have to be noted way higher ergo hits on the Rita than you do on the killer. Next we had the the CPC GE, which took five bullets of BP, um, and, and it basically performed equivalent to the Gazelle. Um, they, they were basically exactly the same. Uh, I didn't notice any difference, but if you guys rewatch it, maybe you'll notice something different. Uh, and then the Karan did the worst by far. It took, only took four shots, and it only stopped damage for one. Um, these ones stopped damage for two bullets, um, depending on their condition. So we don't... This one was not full. It was slightly damaged. So, yeah. That's the tier of the armor, I would say. Um, yeah. Oh, <laughs> fuck, I missed. <laughs> Yo, how did I miss? <laughs> how did I miss, dude? Okay, so for everyone who is w wondering what we were just looking at, here is an armor effective durability due to material uh, chart list, and we were just testing all the tier five armors. So they don't. So on on this tier list, they do not have the new armors, but the old armors, their effective durability actually tested the same as we just tested in game. So. The the Quran was by far the worst. Then the Gazelle, followed by the Redut, then the Killa. So the Kill Armor does to their testing test slightly better. Th this is this is a good. I'll link this down below for you guys if you want to go check it out. Um, this includes all of the armor durabilities except for the new ones. Um, basically the way it works is there there is a how much they get destroyed versus how much they stop. Um, based on the material. So every armor material has different. Uh, multipliers and modifiers that get applied to it based on what it's made of so like for example like ceramic it's very bad this also tells you the, the repairability for example um so your ceramic armors are very very bad at repairing this shows how good it is at repairing versus how bad it is so your armors that are there are harder materials 
don't repair as well. So your ceramic followed by your steel, then your aluminum, your metals are not going to repair very well at all versus like your combined materials, which is going to be like multi-layer fabrics and stuff like that are going to repair much, much better as it would make sense in real life. So the new uh, pl plate frame GE armor might be the new best tier five armor in the game. That or the killer armor, I would say, just due to the fact of the downsides. No fucking way. The downsides of the plate frame GE are insane. There's none. <laughs> okay, the new plate frame GE Goon Edition armor is quite literally the best armor in the game. It has better, it, it has less downward stat modifiers than the than the kill armor, and it eats more bullets than the kill armor. This armor is actually insane. New best armor, hundred percent. New be new best tier five armor. Downside, though, is it only has these, this many slots, which is a decent bit, but not the best for looting. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace out. We'll see you guys next time.